because we track stars. We keep on track for Jesus Christ all day, every day. Yeah, back in the field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah, who is not here, so I'm trying to DJ, and I am not good at it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so, um... And we got yeah. Cyrus, who's made his way into the building. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Good, I got my good. sister on the camera. Got Cyrus in the building. We got Toya on the mic, holding it down for Jeremiah. We make this happen, yeah, man. You happen. know what we learned yesterday? We learned that the JDOT team can do anything. Oh, man. Yeah, we put absolutely. up two completely different events at the same time. <laughs> and shout out to Sincere, who did both events. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but um, good. so since we got Cyrus here, I wanted to bring up something that came up last night at Destinations. Mm -hmm. When I first got to practice, they were talking about, well, you know, icons. What's a music icon? What makes an icon? What's the criteria for a music icon? So they were throwing out things like, you know, of course, like people consider Michael Jackson a music icon. But who in rap is an icon? They said Tupac. You know, some people were trying to argue Biggie. Some people said no. Some people said yes. Um, and then, then somebody, I'm not going to say who, was trying to say Drake was an icon. And uh -huh. they were like, no, no, no. So while they were talking, it got me thinking. Can a Christian ever be considered an icon? And is that a good thing? What do you think? I think they can. I think they can. I think when when you think about the word icon, I think of someone like Lil Wayne is an icon. You know what I mean? Like he has he has people that literally are out there trying to look like him, yeah. dress like him, get tattoos like him. So he's an icon where people are, are, are following what he does, what he says. Um, and the Christian can a Christian be an icon? Yeah, I think so. I think Mary Mary. I think they're icons. I think they consider themselves icons. Wow. I do because, you know, I really have a problem. And everybody knows this. I really have a problem with the God in Me song. I do. Because yeah. it just seems like it's so... Yeah, I don't like it either. Yeah, I, it seems like it's so um, uh, self-centered. You know what I mean? Like, very, very um, cocky. Really? To me. Yeah, it's like, she looks, she looks at my whip. She looks at my clothes, thinks the girl's tight, but then you don't know is, you know, when I get home, get on my knees, it's the God in me. I'm like... I, I don't... I just don't think that I don't like the song but I, I kind of viewed the song differently than that mm -hmm. uh, I don't like it uh, for the aspect not not to get off topic with yeah. this uh, but I don't like it for the aspect that like people who aren't even necessarily per se Christians uh, it's like this new age just concept of all of us have a God within us we're oh. all some type of God so yeah. a lot of people play that song and they kind of twist it and they're like oh it's the God in me it's the because I'm partially a God Yes. And uh, so I don't like that concept. That's the music sound of the uh, progressive church. We talked about this last week. <laughs> this is part of that five percenter thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you hear that. But here's the thing, and mm -hmm. this this may all be a part of it because um, it may actually tie into what we're talking about in the break. We're talking about Flame. We just played Flame's number one spot. Yeah. And some of his sentiments, which people think he may have been talking about Lecrae, whatever. But some of his sentiments is people seem to be fiending for this number one spot being the best this being the most exposed this yeah is it a good thing for a christian to be considered an icon globally where so many people like them and how does that reconcile with the, when the bible says they'll hate you because of your love for jesus can can you be both i don't know if they are negatively considered icons i think they're more associated with the and the lifestyle as, as a Christian. I think Joe Osteen, um, someone in the world would call him an icon, but a Christian wouldn't call him an icon. And they would call him an icon basically because he has the largest church in America and he's on every channel, best-selling books on the New York Times list. So it's, it's like those are the things that I think the world considers to be icons. Okay, so what's an icon? Let's define it. Well, dictionary.com wow, says... <laughs> I, married, I, married a, I married a teacher, so... Hey. Well, I, wow. I just wanted to distinguish between an icon and an idol yes. before I made a Very comment. Yes. But an icon, the first definition is just a picture or image or a representation. But the second um, definition, um, they give an example. They said, as Christ or a saint or an angel paint it usually on the wood surface and venerate it itself as sacred something that is sacred mm. so i don't know if that's any better than an idol though <laughs> no so it's it, the difference between an idol and an icon is a little 
I think the ghetto That's definition it. is um, anybody who's noted, notably recognized as the best or the greatest or you know something like that that's that's the urban dictionary version of an icon so are we gonna stick to that definition or are we gonna take the webster definition into account that this uh, may be a no, negative thing no disrespect to webster but you know <laughs> we're gonna go with like what the people really view is what like the icon is okay uh, i don't I honestly don't think uh, that there's anything wrong with it uh, for a Christian to be an icon because, um, of course, that person has to deal with it themselves. They have to deal with the, the levels of, of pride and the attack that comes with them or that comes with that. But overall, like, I mean, David was iconic in the Bible and uh, there's many different biblical characters that were very iconic and uh, even Solomon. And of course, he's an example of someone who, because of his, because of him being an icon, it eventually kind of brought him down because of his pride and everything he had. But nonetheless, people around the world who weren't necessarily uh, Israelites, they respected and revered his wisdom, and they knew his wisdom came directly from God. Uh, but I think with a lot of the, I mean, just to speak on the aspect of Christian artists out today, I think, yeah, a lot of people like them. And I, I do see a lot of people that, that listen to Christian hip hop music, and they're not like living a christian life and they don't plan to but uh but at the same time i see a lot of people hating a lot of christian artists as well and clearly we can see the hate just by them not being played on the secular station uh so i, I think that's a form of hate as well uh and they also get a lot of hate from the church i have uh, some christian guys i know they some homeboys of mine they do a uh, christian hip-hop and they were doing hip hop at a church one time, and they said that it was like during some event, and then the, the pastor and the leadership came out with a cross and some holy water, like telling them to get off stage, oh, saying wow. that they were possessed with demons. So, like, I mean, wow. I, that's it, it was something extra, but uh, I, I don't think I think it's a good thing uh, for a Christian to be an icon if they can handle the weight of that. Well, here's the other yeah. half of it. If it is okay, let's say it is. How does that person, like a Lecrae, mm -hmm. who's who's to me, it's even harder to be a rap Christian icon, but let's let's yeah. just say it's possible. For him, how does that person uh, keep away from pride and getting, letting the um, compliments and the accolades soak into their heart? How do you do that? Man, I don't know. I'm still thrown off by the the, the you know the fact that they could be considered icons. Um, I think that that's <laughs> is there should there be anything bigger than Jesus? No. You know what I mean? So if you are carrying that light around or you, you you are supposedly carrying that light around, that's a big weight to, to you know, um, to denounce. Because you're going to have to denounce that. Somebody says that, you know, they follow you more than they follow Jesus. You're going to have to rebuke that spirit. Um, so I think that they have a really hard time with that, man, because I'm sure there are a lot of kids out there that know more of the craze words than they knew than they know the lord's word oh, Here, here's, dang, here's a picture here's a picture for you and this is why this is very important because you remember when michael jackson was still alive and yeah. he would go perform in in, in uh, japan or somewhere yeah. like that people would faint they would pass out yeah they would cry mm -hmm. they would be like completely torn down by this man if uh -huh. what if that happens to a christian he's that iconic what does he do with that I don't think that could really, I don't think, I, I want to say I don't think that it could happen at least consistently because if one thing I notice about their music is that they consistently, if they continue to do this, if they continue to talk about their faults and talk about uh, a lot in their songs about how they need the grace of God.